three shootings involving three different law enforcement agencies just this week. Good afternoon. I'm Bill Young. Shooting happening at the Circle K gas station near Fayetteville Street and NC 54 in Durham. CBS 17's Joseph Holloway is live at the scene with new information about what led up to the shooting. Joseph. And you know, this scene has been very active throughout the day as both SBI and Durham police have been here investigating. You can see where most of the parking lot is taped off right here at the Circle K. Police were taking down some of the tape earlier, just a few minutes ago, and an officer told me that they still have a few more things to take care of before ultimately wrapping up this scene. But police tell us that they got a call around 3.30 this morning about an attempted suicide here at the Circle K as a man was cutting himself inside the store. When officers showed up, the door was locked while the man was attacking the clerk with some sort of sharp object. So the officers forced their way in and they shot the man. Police tried to help the man, but he ultimately died here at the scene while the clerk went to the hospital with serious injuries. Stephen Dieball says he stopped for gas on his way to a doctor's appointment and noticed the tape surrounding the Circle K. It's awful to hear, you know, anybody having you know, to take a life, but uh, I'm glad to be a law enforcement here protecting us. Um, you know, pray for all, everyone that's affected by that, family, friends. And the police chief says that some of the officers were treated for minor injuries, and all of those officers are now on paid leave, as is usual protocol for situations like these. But the department is holding off on releasing the name of the man who was killed because, of course, they have to notify his family. For now, we are live in Durham. Joseph Holloway, CBS 17 News.